and welcome to episode number two. Number two, man. We episode number two. That feels good to say. Welcome to episode number two of the nines. I am your host, PJ Preston, coming live to you from Watts Creative Studios in Lynchburg, Virginia. Always shouting out Lynchburg and Watts Creative, man, making wonders happen in the studio. We're excited to be with you again for episode number two of the nines. I hope you listened to episode number one entitled Lend Me Your Ear. If not, go back and listen to that and then come back and listen to this episode number two. Listen, invite your friends to drop in on the nines. Uh, We need you to be paying attention to what is going on with this episode. And we're excited about uh, what we're doing here uh, on this nines podcast. Uh, So uh, catch you up just a little bit. The nines, the nines, the nines. I mean, to be done to perfection. And, And our tagline is the imperfectly perfect podcast, right? The perfectly imperfect podcast is what it is. And so uh, we're excited for that. And also it's a nine minute podcast, short, sweet, to the point. Our thing is we always want to leave the people wanting more, uh, but we always want to give you great content and for nine minutes exactly. And so uh, we're off and rolling uh, with this podcast today. And I got something I want to drop on you. Okay. Are you guys ready? No, no, no. I need you guys to be ready. I need you guys to think about this and, and be in a place where you can process what I am about to say. All right. Um, this is something that um, that's been in my heart for a while, and I've been sharing this around. I believe one day it may be a book. I keep speaking that to an existence, and I believe that one day this leadership principle is going to be a book. And so, and here on the Nines Podcast, we're about, again, uh, spiritual life and leadership and even sports. We're going to share a few things with you. And, and, and this, this concept has been uh, in my heart for a couple of years. And so you guys be, be praying about that book. I believe it's going to happen one day. And, and, and this is something that we teach to our people. Um, you know, we got a local church uh, here in Lynchburg, and uh, we pour into our people leadership things from the scriptures. And, and one thing that I share with them is this. Okay, y'all ready? Here it goes. Stick to the chicken. I'm going to pause right for dramatic effect. Stick to the chicken. What in the world does that mean, PJ? What does it mean to stick to the chicken? Listen, I absolutely love food. Can I get an amen from somebody driving down the road? I absolutely love food. I love to eat. Gained a few pounds in recent years, but that's okay. I love to eat and, you know, I love a good steak, for instance. Had a good steak today. Um, you know, I, I, I love French fries. That's, that's a problem. That's a problem. I love a good French fry. Um, you know, and there's too many, not too many things that I, I do not like. And so I, I love, love, love to eat. And one of the things and one of the places that I love to eat is Chick-fil-A. Come on, somebody. Can you honk your horn for Chick-fil-A? All right. I love Chick-fil-A because, uh, first of all, it's, it's good food and then it's good chicken. Come on, somebody. Right. And so I love good chicken and I love Chick-fil-A, um, not just because of uh, their service. They have excellent service. My pleasure. Pull up to the window, please. I love that. Great service. Always rated high when it comes to customer service. But what I love most about Chick-fil-A is that they just do chicken. Now, I know they have some things on the peripheral and all that stuff, but they just do chicken, right? And they do great chicken. They do chicken well, and that's what I love about them. See, I love um, the fact that they make good chicken every single day. Not not like Golden Corral, and, and you know, I'll stop by Golden Corral every now and then because I enjoy a good buffet, um, and but... Uh, the thing about Golden Corral is that they do a variety of things. And, you know, sometimes they're mm, okay. You know, sometimes they're good. And and not knocking Golden Corral because I, I love it. I'll stop by there and, man, I might go when I leave here. I don't know. Uh, I like Golden Corral. And Golden Corral, they do um, some, some pretty good things. But they have a variety of things. You can get chicken at Golden Corral. 
You can get baked chicken. You can get fried chicken, right? You can get grilled chicken, all right? Then you also, you can get a steak. You can get a little burger slider. You can get pizza. You can go down the aisle and you can get you some sweet potato casserole, right? I mean, they got so many things going on. You can get you a salad if you want to, right? And all of it is just good. It's just good. But a Chick-fil-A and their chicken, it's beyond good. It is absolutely excellent. So, what are you trying to say? The leadership principle is in is this. Do what you do. Do what you have been blessed to do, what you've been called to do, what God has blessed you to do. Do it and do it well. Be like Chick-fil-A instead of trying to be like Golden Corral, trying to do all of these things, right? Not saying that you can't do some other things and venture out a little bit, but um, God has given us all specific gifts, skills, talents, and abilities. And I believe this, you have to do it and do it, do it well. See, I have a problem with Burger King, come on somebody, and some of these other fast food restaurants. See, Burger King every now and then, they try to do these things, these Cheeto mac and cheese fries and all this stuff. And you know, and I, and, I, and I watched the commercials, y'all. All right, I know y'all laughing at this, but this is deep. I watched the commercials, and, and you know, I, I am confused by Burger King, all right? Um, and I don't know if it's, it's me, but in recent years, I've noticed a decline in the taste of Burger King's burgers. Listen, I'm like, Burger King, man, why are you doing Cheeto mac and cheese fries? Man, just make me a good flame broiled burger. That's what I need from you. huh? I need that Whopper to be flame broiled deliciousness. That's what I need from you, Burger King. Then I jumped to Bojangles. I love Bojangles, man. I, you know, I like Bojangles every now and then. Give me um, chicken tender supremes and all that good stuff. Um, Bojangles, sometimes they lose their way too. They have created a fish sandwich, a Bojangler. I mean, that's a good name, though. I got to give it to him. That's a good name. But the Bojangler, come on, right? I mean, and it might be tasty for a little bit, but, but Bojangles, listen to me. I just need you to make good chicken, right? I don't need all that other stuff. And you're trying to make these fish sandwiches, and, and they're okay, right? But I need you to make good chicken. Now, let me jump to you, back to you. Um, again, God has called you to do something specific. And there's no need to try to do all these, these other things and trying to, um, uh, you know, maybe God has called you uh, to be a teacher. Maybe God has called you to be a doctor, right? I understand you might have a hobby of playing basketball, but listen, you ain't going to the NBA. Come on, somebody, right? If you're a doctor, man, be the best doctor you can be. If you're a teacher, be the best teacher you can be. So I need you to um, lock in and stick to the chicken. That's the word for today. Stick to the chicken. Don't fall into the trap of trying to be like everyone else. Because sometimes we can look at other people and we see that they're doing well and they see what they're doing. Like, oh, man, I think I can do that, too. I, I might can uh, do that, too. But listen, that's not the way to go. See, there's only one you. God has made you uniquely you. And he has a plan for you. And he wants you to do what he has called you to do. Take your eyes off of other people. Focus in on your gifts and use them to the best of your ability. That's what we're trying to do here with the nines in this podcast. We're just trying to use our gifts. Just trying to stick to the chicken. All right. That's what we're trying to do here at the nines. And a man, where our time is almost up, I think we're about to hit nine minutes. And we're going to we're going to stick to the chicken. We're going to stick to our word and we're going to keep this thing at a, a nine minute or below podcast. And man, we thank you guys uh, for listening today. Again, 
stick to the chicken. Uh, next time you go buy ch uh, Chick-fil-A and you get that delicious chicken sandwich, come on somebody, with some Chick-fil-A sauce, thank them. <laughs> thank a worker at Chick-fil-A. Huh? Maybe, maybe reach out to the manager and say thank you. Maybe write a letter to the Cathy's and tell them thank you for setting the example for me. All right? Don't try to be like everybody else as you go out uh, today and even this week. Don't try to be like nobody else. There is only one you. You are uniquely you. Don't try to be like everybody else. Use your gifts, man. Stick to the chicken man that's it for the nines guys thank you for listening in pass this podcast on to somebody else let them know that we are on the air we are on the air we are on the air man and we're going to keep dropping this knowledge to you every single week and we're so glad that you guys are listening again share this podcast with somebody else so they can listen to and they can hear a good word of wisdom and so we're so thankful uh, for you guys for listening we love you guys man have a great day have a great week Stick to the chicken. Amen.